Greetings. Happy Monday, my dears. This is it's Moira here with our weekly check-in to see what can we focus on letting go of this week. This week, which is March 9th. And yesterday we celebrated the International Women's Day. So, you know, I've actually been really excited about hopping on here today to, to look at what's going to come up for us letting go of. But today is a very auspicious day. I know I like that word a lot. So today is a super full moon and Mercury goes direct. And so this is a time for really amplified inner communication. How are you talking to yourself and about yourself? But it's also magnified. The super, a super full moon is, it's, it's called super because it's closest to the earth. On, on its actual trajectory. And so that actually really, really amplifies your connection with your inner core. Now, also being a full moon, it's about resolution, manifestation. So what have you been working on over the last month? The, the other, so full moon, what, are you, what have you been working on over the last month? But also because it's a super moon, super full moon, it's about many months. So this is like a real culmination of what you've been talking about a lot. So follow that. I really encourage you to follow these things with with the the, the cycles of the moon. And I'm going to step more into this, you know, as we celebrated the uh, International Day of, of Women, I read an article that said, it's great for us to have that one day and acknowledge the power of women but we need to make this ongoing. We need, the world needs, society needs, this planet needs for us to find equality and balance for the feminine and masculine. So this is really important. And that's what what paying attention to how you feel, how you're doing, using the cycles of the moon is a brilliant way of tapping into that, that feminine power. That's just, that's kind of, my little project at the moment. That's where my attention is. So how are you feeling? Can you feel the effects of the moon? Do you meditate on it? Do you actually follow that and and watch what's happening to you, what's happening around you, what opportunities are coming, what are you working on? How's your energy? So now seeing all that, you can feel that I'm feeling excited about Mercury's gone direct to Mercury's all about the communication. So what came up for you over the Mercury retrograde period? Where are there things coming up from the past that you needed to visit with and let go? Um, And if you're here live, say hi. Or ask any questions you need about the idea of the super full moon and about what Mercury going direct, actually how that impacts you. As I've been saying this, I'm shuffling the letting go guidance cards. So I encourage you to just land into this moment with me. Take a few deep breaths. And in our mind, we're just gonna focus on what's the best thing for me to let go of, for me, you, us, as a whole, as a collective, what's the best thing for us to focus on letting go of this week of March under the light of that super full moon and also as Mercury is going direct for us. What can we focus on letting go of? And this is a good one, actually. This one, what we're gonna focus on is approval of others. So we're going to let go of, and so isn't that perfectly timed? That's why I said to you about this moon part is that this is about really connecting with you, with the core of you your uniqueness it's it's you know all of our responsibility in life hey sandy good morning nice to see you here so all of the the thing about this following that the moon guidance is about us showing up and sharing our unique gift there is something that only you has the ability for or this capacity for and your responsibility is to bring it into the collective experience so when we get, that can get diluted when we think we want other people to approve of us, right? That's how that feels for me. Do you find that you second guess yourself or you judge yourself because you think other people's opinion of you 
is something really of great importance. I say something, I say to my clients oftentimes, other people's opinion of you is actually none of your business because it's about them. So let me read this out to you too to see if this helps. So I start this with a quote from Byron Katie. I love her work. But she says, the unspoken belief is that unless people approve of you, you're worthless. So that's really big. It's an important part to let to be aware of. One of the biggest obstacles to people improving their self-esteem is the constant need for approval by others. The approval you really need is to find is from yourself. And this can only begin once you stop searching from, for the approval of others in others and take time to heal yourself. When you come to realize that you don't need anyone else's approval, it's so incredible. There's a sudden peace inside of you which will fill you with joy. It's like you suddenly woke up from a nightmare and you're now free to just be you. This is really important. This is being you allows you to share. Hi, Teresa. Um, you to share what your true gift is, right? Your whole life will be completely different. You might find that for the first time in your life, you understand what it truly means to feel peaceful, content, and happy. It's time to let go of the need for approval of others. Truth be told, it really doesn't matter what other people think. See, I told you I say that a lot. <laughs> if you are happy with the decisions you have made, then there is, then that is no one else's concern. Think about how much you could achieve if you stop letting other people's opinion impact the way you live your life. And that, like I say, I think I feel for me that's a really powerful way of making sure that you're accessing what your purpose is, what your unique piece that, that, that the collective needs. And so this is an important pivotal space. So this is the us landing into the awareness of that. So right now I'm shuffling the tarot cards. I'm going to draw one tarot card and then I'm going to draw three angel cards just to, to deepen this. So let's see what tarot card comes up. Well, this is an interesting one. Uh, what's come up for us today is the five of wands. So that actually speaks beautifully to that idea of the approval, approval of others. When we go too much of making our decisions based upon what we think other people think we should or should not be doing, then it can get a bit snaggy. You know, like that's the five of, of wands speaks about little irritations, little things going not quite the way you want, but it could be because you're diluting your power and not really, um, really getting into. Sandy says she wishes she read that years ago, but then again, maybe you weren't ready. Well, maybe you aren't. That's the thing is to really trust that we are always in the right space at the right time. And that that's wishing things were, were better or different years ago, you weren't ready. That just the fact that you're here and, and reading it now, that's great. So be proud of that. <laughs> and so, like I said, just watch for any kind of um, sense of recrimination or comparing yourself or looking at somebody else thinking they need to tell you something in order to, to, for you to feel worthy, right? So as we're feeling into that, I just pulled three of Dorian Virtue's angel cards to get this. So this is really good. So the first card is ideas and inspiration. So follow, I really encourage you to let go of this idea of needing to be approved by other people. And when you clear that, you can you can journal, you can meditate, you can start really looking at what do you want, what do you want to intend? What do you what ideas are you not giving voice to? What are you sort of shutting down? Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams and, and may, maybe tra track them with, with your um, journaling and then nature. I went for a really lovely long walk yesterday. That's one of the best ways I know how to go and just tap back into my inner awareness and my, my connection with my higher self is to go out into the woods. So I wish you an amazing week. I, like I said, I think we're in really amazing times and I wish you much success on letting go of that need for approval of others. And I wish you a great week and thank you for watching. Bye.